Hi everyone, it's Miss Hayward, and today I'm going to be showing you how to translate points on a graph. So to start, we're going to look at how to plot a coordinate on the graph. The first step is to remember that when looking at the numbers, the x-axis will always come first, followed by the y-axis. So over here, it says to plot a point at 2 and 4 on the chart. So 2 will be the x-axis, and 4 will be the y-axis. So if I go back to my graph, I will find the 2 along the x-axis, and then from the 2, I will go up to the 4 along the y. 1, 2, 3, to the 4, and that will be my point on the graph. The next step will be to translate the point, and a translation means I'm just moving that point to a different location on the same graph. So today I'm going to translate the point up two and one to the left. So for that, I will go back to my original point, and from there I'm going to move it up two, one, two, and then one to the left, one, and here is my new location on the graph. And because I've translated the point, it has a new set of coordinates. So my new coordinates would be one, because we look at the x-axis first, and then on the y-axis, it is 6. So my new coordinates would be 1, comma, 6. The next step will be to plot a set of coordinates on the grid to create a shape, and then we're going to translate that shape. So for my shape, my coordinates are A, 2, and 2, B, 2, and 4, and C, 4, and 2. Now remember, the first number is always my x-axis, and the second number is always my y-axis. So for plot A, I'm going to look at 2 on the x and 2 on the y. So I find 2 on my x-axis, and then I go up to 2 on my y-axis. That is my first point. Then I'm going to find 2 on my x-axis and 4 on my y-axis. 2 on the x, 4 on the y, and that is my b. And then c is 4 on the x-axis and 2 on the y. So I go to the 4 on the x and 2 on the y, and that is point c. And because it's a shape, I can connect the lines in between To draw my shape. Okay, so now we have the three points that make up the triangle. Now when I'm going to translate the shape, I have to translate every single point up and write the same amount. So here it says translate the shape up three and write two. So I have to make sure I'm doing this to every single point on my shape. So we'll start with A, I go up three, one, two, three, and right two, one, two. So this is my new coordinate for point A. I do the same for point B. I go up three, one, two, three, and I go right, one, two, that is now point B, and the same for point C, I will go up, one, two, three, and right, one, two, and that is the new coordinate for point C. 
I trace this shape. I should see that the shape has not changed from the original to the translation. So remember when you're translating a shape, you have to move each point the same number of places and the shape should stay the same from the original to the translation. The next thing we're going to look at is translating points on a four quadrant grid. So similar to the other grid, I have my Y axis, which runs vertically through the graph. And I have the X axis, which runs horizontally through the graph. So the last one we looked at, we would have just been looking at quadrant one over here. We had positive numbers on both the Y and the X axis. On a four quadrant grid, both the Y and the X axis will have positive and negative numbers. So in the quadrant we were looking at earlier, the X and the Y both had positive numbers. If we go to quadrant two underneath, we see that the X axis is still positive, but the Y axis has gone below zero, so the Y is now negative. If we move over to the next one, we see that both the X and the Y axis are now negative because they've both gone past zero. And the other one at the top, we have the y-axis is positive because it's above the zero, and the x-axis is negative. When plotting points on this type of grid, you're still going to be looking at the x first, followed by the y. So we're going to plot four points on this grid. Point A is going to be at 2 and 2. Point B is going to be at 2 and negative 2. Point C is going to be at negative 2 and negative 2. And point D is going to be at negative 2 and 2. So for point A, I'm going to find positive 2 along the x-axis and positive 2 along the y. And that will be point A. Point B was at 2 and negative 2, so I'm going to find 2 along my x, and I'm going to go down to negative 2 along the y, and that's going to be point B. Point C is at negative 2 and negative 2, so I have negative for both the x to negative 2 and negative 2 for the y, and that is point C. And point D was negative 2 and 2, so I'm still at negative 2 along the X, but I go up to positive 2 along the Y, and that is point D. So we can see that we have put a point in each of the four quadrants on the grid based on the coordinates that were given. The next step we're going to do is to translate point A down three spots and left five, and then we will write the new coordinates for that point. So again, it's point A, which was up here at two and two for the original coordinates. We're going to translate it down three and left five. So I'll start at the point and I go down one, two, three. So I'm now in the negatives for the y-axis, and then I'm going to go left five. One, two, three, four, and five. And that will be my new point A. If I'm writing the coordinates for the new point A, again, I have to start on my x. So on the x-axis, it is negative three. And along the y-axis, it is negative 1. 
So point A, which the original coordinates for it were 2 and 2, has now been translated to negative 3 and negative 1. Okay? So you can refer to these examples when you are doing your lessons for this week. And remember, if you have any questions, that you can email us and we will for sure get back to you and help with any questions that you may have. Have a great day.